Hello, my name is Dr. Julie Rennick and I'm the course coordinator of the Masters and Postgraduate Diploma in Healthcare Infection. My colleague, Professor Stephen Smith, is the course director. This course is run by the discipline of clinical microbiology in the School of Medicine in Trinity College, Dublin. The course has been running since 2012 and in that time we've had about 100 students come through the course. The course has been developed um, with the recognition of the need for a multidisciplinary approach to modern healthcare infection control. Infection control is a global concern. I think we've probably never been more astutely aware of that with the most recent um, SARS-CoV-2 pandemic. There have been many other outbreaks throughout history, um, example being Zika and Ebola viruses there as well. The CDC or the Centre of Disease Control have released a list of antibiotic resistant threats classed as urgent, serious or concerning. Also, the World Health Organization have published a list of bacteria for which new antibiotics are urgently needed. The publication of both these lists highlights the urgency around the antimicrobial resistance and infection outbreaks. Antimicrobial resistance costs about 1.5 billion annually in the EU. And it is estimated that by 2050, the deaths caused by antimicrobial resistance and resistant infections will surpass that of uh, all cancers collectively. Over 2 million illnesses and 23,000 deaths are caused by antibiotic resistance in the US annually. The Masters and Postgraduate Diploma in Healthcare Infection is taught over um, five modules, four modules for the Postgraduate Diploma and five modules for the Masters. Module one to four are taught modules and module five is a research module. Module one is the basic and molecular microbiology. Module two is antimicrobial therapy and resistance. Module three is the epidemiology and infection control module. And module four is multidisciplinary management of infection. Module one, basic and molecular microbiology is designed to allow students to be able to describe and discuss pathogens associated with human infection and disease, to recognize pathogens predominant in the hospital environment, to understand serological and molecular diagnostic techniques, and critically appraise the validity of molecular test results. Module two focuses on antimicrobial therapy and resistance. Following completion of this module, students should be able to define the major types of antimicrobial drugs, detect antimicrobial resistance using culture-based and molecular methods, understand the underlying mechanisms of resistance, formulate a prescribing policy for an infectious disease, and determine if antimicrobial therapy is working on a case-by-case -case basis. Module three is epidemiology and infection control. And following completion of this module, students should be able to define standards for hygiene in clinics and hospitals, describe the routes for disease transmission, track waste and contamination sources within the hospital, and create and design outbreak strategies to control the spread of infectious disease. And the final top module, module four, brings all the other modules together. It's the multidisciplinary management of infection. And following, following completion of this module, students should be able to investigate the emergence of new infections, recognize infections that are notifiable, evaluate the use of point of care diagnostics, and examine success of infection control strategies based on measurables such as patient outcomes, budget costs, and staff safety. Module five is the research module and it's available to the master's students. 
in saying that anybody that has completed a postgraduate diploma and wishes to come back and do research later could be eligible for a master's. If this is something that you're interested in, you can always liaise with me throughout the course. There's a wide scope of research interests within the department. Usually full-time students are given or assigned a supervisor within the department and part-time students would usually carry out their research projects in their place of work. Within the department, we have quite a wide array of interests and projects would usually be designed around the interests within the department. As part of the research project, you would be involved in formulating the ideas or the hypotheses. You would also be tasked with designing and undertaking this novel research. You would then present and discuss your findings. Methods for this would be the submission of a thesis and also oral presentations. And you would be expected to work to appropriate health, safety and research ethics standards in a laboratory. So what are the benefits of this course? The lectures are given by experts in the field, both nationally and internationally. There are practical and taught components of all modules. As you can see here on the right, we just have examples of some of the students over the, over the past years um, using novel methods for demonstrating, in this case, next generation sequencing, um, experience putting together scientific and, and clinical posters, and also hands-on experience in the laboratory setting. As part of the master's course, you have site visits. There is a visit to the MRSA reference laboratory to the HPSC, which is the Health Protection Surveillance Centre, which is our surveillance centre, our national one in Ireland here. We also have lecturers from the HPSC come in and give surveillance lectures on the course as well. We have a visit to Pfizer Drug Development Plant, and uh, we also have lecturers from Pfizer come in to give us um, lectures on vaccine development and drug development. And students always attend the Focus on Infection meeting, which is a great meeting um, on various different topical um, infections and current affairs within in the infection field. And that is organised by our department every year and students will attend that. The course has inclusion of a research module if you're doing a master's, which provides insight into the world of research. You become embedded within a research group for 12 to 15 weeks, and it really gives you a hands on insight into what research, uh, clinical research is like. The assessment is continual and compri comprises various different types of assessments, such as the written assessments, MCQs or multiple choice questionnaires, vivas, presentations, essays and workbooks, just to name a few. And this means students get to shine in, in particular ways that they are more familiar with or are better at, at, at uh, performing in. These are some past student feedback and it gives you, there's more of these on our website. I've just picked out a few there. It gives you an idea of why previous students did the course. Um, for instance, the IPC or the Infection Prevention Control Team was expanding in this particular student's um, hospital and they wanted to be appointed the manager of that. So they did the master's course and they did get that, that position. Um, the master's program helped with acceptance into my current program. Um, this particular person now works in the World Health Organization and can utilize many skills and information that was given to me from the course. The MSc was one of the best and most enjoyable academic experiences I have had to date, which is great for us because we, we put an awful lot of effort into making the course interactive, having experts in the field and um, lecture the students. So that's some of the feedback. It also gives you an idea of some of the jobs that the students that did the course have gone into and some of the backgrounds of students that came to do the course. So applications will normally be received from those who hold one of the following qualifications, a medical degree, an honours degree in biomedical sciences, nursing, pharmacy or microbiology, an honours degree in another relevant science subject. Applications may also be received from individuals with a minimum three years of relevant healthcare experience and suitable qualifications. We have had students uh, come to us to do the course from various different backgrounds, from clinical backgrounds, dentistry, pharmacy, nursing, biomedical science, 
genetics. We've had quite a wide array of students come to do the course for various different reasons. Um, so it's quite a diverse group of students that, that do the course every year. Of note, um, if you have an undergraduate degree, uh, honours degree in any of these uh, sciences, you'd have to achieve a 2-1 grade or equivalent to be considered for admission to this MSc. The Masters is taught one year full-time or two year part-time. The Postgraduate Diploma is taught one year full-time. The course commences in September every year and application deadline is the 30th of June every year. I've left the link to our website up there for further information. Also on the website there is a link to our PDF course handbook which gives all the detail on the course so you can go and take a look at that if you need to. I've also put the link up there for applying for the course as well. Thank you very much for listening. Um, my email is renwickj at tcd.ie and also both my extensions are there. I should say I'm probably a bit more contactable on email at the moment so um, if you have any questions please feel free to contact me. I hope I'll be able to answer all of them for you and I'll also be available at the drop-in session at the postgraduate virtual open day as well if you want to pop in there and talk face-to-face. Uh, -face. Thank you very much.